prices and inflation have more Americans relying more on credit cards. Now that's contributing to higher household debt across the country. CBS4's Zach Myers explains at least one expert says credit card debt may become unsustainable. Well, if you think your own credit card balances are looking too big, listen to this from the Federal Reserve Bank. Total household debt rose by $148 billion in just the first quarter of this year to more than $17 trillion. Credit card balances totaled $986 billion. Now, that's the same as it was at the end of 2022, but that's going against the normal trend. Credit card balances usually go down in the first quarter of the year. In addition, more Mortgage balances were $121 billion higher, standing at $12 trillion at the end of March. Student loans are now up to $1.56 trillion, and auto loans are up to $1.6 trillion. Now, some experts believe the amount of spending on credit cards is reaching the unsustainable point, and there are signs that people are changing their habits and plans to adjust. For one thing, people are driving their cars longer. Fewer people are taking out new car loans since the height of the COVID pandemic. According to S&P Global Mobility, the average age of a vehicle on the road today is 12 and a half years old. That's a new record. Also, mortgage refinancing has gone down as well because, well, people with lower rates don't want to start paying 6%. If all of this sounds depressing, there is help out there. The Consumer Affairs website has a list of the best debt counseling companies out there, and Bankrate.com has information on finding nonprofit debt consolidation and guidance. Just be aware of scammers out there. You'll find links to both attached to this story at CBS4Indy.com, as well as my recent story on debt consolidation scams to look out for. For CBS4 News, I'm Zach Myers. Zach, thank you.